RPG Maker Quick Tips. Hey everyone, what's up? It's Amper Pro here, and today we're going to be making animated graphs. So to do this, you need to sacrifice one of your water sets. Uh, I'm not saying like all the water, but uh, at least one chunk of the water. What we're going to be doing is we're going to open up any of the A1 uh, for water, or wh whatever you plan on using the grass for. Usually outside A1, but any other one would, would work too. Um, but what we're going to do is we're going to we're going to also open up outside A2. And what we're going to do then is using the GIMP, because the GIMP is free and it's for basically Windows, Mac, and Linux. And also because I'm mostly familiar with it. So if you're using a different art program, you're going to need to improvise a little bit. So in the GIMP, what we're going to do is we're going to go to View, and we're going to click Show Grid and Snap to Grid. And then we're going to configure the grid to be 24 by 24. We're going to do this for both of these. So first, what we're going to do is we're going to highlight and select the grass, and we're going to copy that. And over on the water tiles, what we're going to do on the A1 tiles, what we're going to do is we're going to create a new layer, and then we're going to paste that grass three times over one of the water sections. You don't always have to use the top one, but uh, as a matter of fact, I prefer you not to use the top one, even though I'm doing this for this demo. But yeah. And then what we're going to do is we're going to create another layer. Uh, this is going to be the thicker grass. And then we're going to duplicate that layer. Now, on the duplicated layer, what we're going to do is we're going to go to Filters. We are then going to go to Distorts, and we're going to select Eye Warp. Now, it's important to uncheck the Use Bilinear. And what we're going to do then is we're going to select the Move tool, and we're going to kind of decrease its size a little bit. And from there, you just need to move the grass around a little bit. Um, not too much, but just a little bit. So once you're done doing that, you're then going to select its Blend Mode as Lighten Only. Then we're going to export it and create a tile set for it by just copying the outside tile set and then uh, pasting it into a new section there. And we're going to change whatever thing that we edited there. We're going to change it to passable and we're also going to give it the bush flag. After all said and done, you now have animated grass. 